Hello, welcome to my student support system. In today's class, we are going to discuss mumps. This lecture is in English, and if you want to study in Hindi, just click on I button and you will get link of Hindi lecture. Or you can directly visit to my channel, my student support system. What is mumps? Mumps is an acute communicable viral disease which is caused by a virus of Paramyxoviridae family. It is characterized by non separative enlargement and tenderness of one or both parotid glands. Parotid glands are situated here and there is enlargement of swelling. What is causative agent of mumps as we have just discussed that mumps is caused by mumps virus which is myxovirus parotiditis this virus is a member of genus rubella virus of the family paramyxoviridae how it spreads the only source of infection is a patient of mumps and the mode of transmission is airborne droplet infection and direct contact with the saliva of infected person sign and symptoms actually 30 to 40 percent of mumps cases are asymptomatic means there will be no sign and symptom but they can still spread infections and when sign symptom appears they may include pain and swelling in either one or both parotid glands you will see a swelling here and pain also sometimes some lingual and sub mandibular glands are also affected okay so sub lingual means below the uh, tongue and submandibular here so all the uh, salivary glands may be affected then there may be complain of earache because the parotid gland is just near the ear there may be pain and stiffness on opening of the mouth so difficulty in opening of the mouth then mumps may also affect testes pancreas, central nervous system, ovaries, prostate, etc. It means it can affect multiple organs. In severe cases, there may be fever, headache, nausea and vomiting, means generalized symptoms, and orchitis. Orchitis is the swelling of testes in males, and ophritis means swelling of ovaries or inflammation of ovaries in females where there will be lower abdominal pain in the females there may be upper abdominal pain when the pancreas is involved then facial palsy and other neurological symptoms may occur in case of nervous system involvement what are diagnostic investigations first and foremost important diagnostic uh, feature is sign and symptoms just watching the patient and history you can find out that yes there may be mumps and sometime igm antibody testing is also done by using oral swab specimen treatment there is no specific treatment for mumps because it is again viral problem or viral disease only symptomatic treatment is needed for sign and symptoms such as the painkiller for the pain uh, and cold compress rest is best treatment for mumps we provide strict bed rest for the client exertion is avoided Main attention is given to prevent spread of infection. 
because it is highly infectious disease. How can we prevent? Vaccination is the best system to prevent mumps. Mumps vaccine is available as mumps vaccine or in combination with measles and rubella as MMR. Health education should be encouraged and routine immunization should also be encouraged via health education because MMR is included in national immunization schedule in India. Reporting and notification of mumps to the local health authorities provide opportunities for better outbreak control and respiratory isolation is also important. 9 days from the onset of parotid gland inflammation or parotitis, uh, exclusion from the school or workplace until 9 days after the onset of parotitis. Disinfection of instruments used by the patient is also pre a preventive measure and concurrent and terminal disinfection methods are also used. So in this way we can prevent the spread of mumps. For watching such videos, you just subscribe to my channel, My Student Support System. You can like Facebook page. For making your notes, you can visit my blogger, mynursingstudents.blogspot.com. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and join Facebook group, Nursing Notes. Thank you. Have a nice day.